go camping? Where's that tail wag? There's the tail wag. So this railroad up here was from, built back in the logging days and it was in operation until not too long ago actually. Uh, I think, I don't have the exact dates, but I, it's, you know, within the last 20 years they stopped using it. But uh, you can still see all the infrastructure there in place, the bridge and the railroad on top of it. Where are we at? Little Mink? Little Mink. We're at Little Mink. All right, made it to the second portage of the day. Little Mink to Mink. We think we found our site just up ahead. We went all the way to the far end of Mink because we have a long day tomorrow. Oh, Emma knows that the canoe ride is over, I think. <laughs> yeah, this one looks good. Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah, isn't it nice? Yeah. Careful. 
yeah, the mosquitoes are pretty bad. And I left my sweater on the outside of my pack. My pack sits face down in the canoe. It's not raining, but Emma gets in there completely wet. <laughs> so my sweater's all wet. And so I'm wearing Jamie's right now. Time for lunch snacks. Oh, you have mosquitoes all over your neck, right there. Okay, so Jamie's putting up the bug net over there. I'm gonna set up our tent over here. It's a bit close to the fire, but it's the flattest spot. There's some spots back there, but they're not really great. So we're gonna be a bit close to the fire this time. That's okay. Sun's coming out a little bit. Okay, so it's about 5.30 and we got here at around 3.30. Um, bug tarp is set up. We've got kind of a fire going, a smoky fire. Jamie's getting more firewood, proper firewood. Um, and we have the tent set up over there. Nice view. What's that? Nice work. Now we've got all this maple to burn. You found maple? Yeah. Yay! How far did you have to go? Pretty far. There's a, a trail. There's a trail? Back there. Yeah. She's nuts, by the way. She had the zoomies the whole time I was there. Yeah, she's really happy. I've never seen her this excited. I know. She's happy, but she's also nuts. I thought we weren't swimming anymore, Emma. It's getting late. Gonna have a wet dog tonight. Nice rocky, sandy shore. Really nice calm day. Look at those clouds. They're like little puffs. Oh, that's so pretty. So we've got our water set up here. To hang the food bag still. Tent. Food bag's hung. Oh, the food bag's hung. Well, it's Oh, it's set up. Okay, but we have to actually hang the food. Yeah. There's nothing back this way, but it's kind of cool. Like, this, these elevations here are kind of cool. All kind of going up. This is where the bathroom is, the washroom, the thunder box, the pooper. It's not super private. There were some canoeists going by right before I was gonna go. I was like, oh, I'll wait. So we're really impressed with Emma today. We were actually shocked by her behavior on day one in the canoe, right? Yeah. She was just, she just lay there. Emma, move back. Move back, come here, please. 
Come place. We'll work on all the other stuff now, huh? Mm -hmm. well, the canoe's pretty good. Incredible. She was dry all day. Yeah. I mean, I let her go in after one of the portages. Right? Yeah. She never jumped out of the canoe. She did not jump out of the canoe. Not one single time. You deserve an award. for the campsite. Yeah. Because then she went really crazy. You just went ripping around, eh? Ripping around. Oh, now she gets tired. You can tell. Good girl. Little canoe dog. And she was bad on the portages. Pulling me a lot. We'll work on that. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So you're not actually allowed to bring cans into the park. Sometimes we bring one each and then we crush it up, crush the can up really small and we pack it out with us. So breaking the rules. Breaking the rules, but the reason the rules exist is because they don't want people leaving the cans, and usually when you bring beer, you bring a bunch of beer. And it's hard to pack out. So we bring one beer, and we crush it up, or crush it, and then bring it, bring the cans back out. A lot of people try to burn the cans, thinking that they burn, but they don't. They just melt, if anything. Yes, they don't burn. They don't even really melt. I remember that one campsite on Burnt Island mm -hmm. a few years back that fire pit we cleaned out and there must have been like 50 tin cans that were melted in there yeah it was awful so that's why the rules are there but if you want to obediently break them <laughs> oh oh What's going on over there? Oh my. Well, I guess you're not sleeping in the tent. <laughs> yeah, you're not invited. Oh my goodness. So we got some nice steaks. So were they frozen when uh, we brought them, took them out? We the yeah, we froze them last night and then um, put them in a cooler with ice on the way here. And then when we got here, we wrapped them in some plastic and some stuff in the food bag to try and keep them <laughs> cold as long as possible. They're like, they're cold, but they're definitely like 10, maybe 10 degrees or something. Yeah. So they're kind of in that danger zone now. So we gotta cook them. Yeah, we gotta eat. I don't eat. want them to sit too long like this. We wrap them in my rain pants because I don't plan on wearing my rain pants. Yeah, we should probably hang those. Rain we pants. are, we are. I thought of that when you had suggested I wrap them in something insulating. I'll just throw them in the food, food bag. Let's see those sticks. Oh yeah. Was that a fart? To go with our steaks, we're having mashed potatoes and asparagus. So we just boiled two cups of water for the mashed potatoes. That's all they need. Yeah. 
so good. I'm just waiting for her share. We're hanging out in the bug tarp for a bit. All right, it's a little buggy out there. Mm -hmm. Morning. Good morning. The hut is on the outside. There's also a slug on the outside. It's a big one. Excuse me. Hi. Nice morning. What have you been up to? So just a little trick when you're hanging your food. Right now we've got about, I would say 25, 30 pounds of food hung up, um, including our toiletries, uh, Emma's food, and uh, some wine. Anyway, it's quite a bit of weight. Um, so, you know, one thing I found that 
when I used to tie my food that my knots would be really hard to get undone in the morning um, because of all the weight, but also because of the moisture that would build up on the rope overnight. So what I do is I try and take load off the knot by wrapping it around multiple trees before tying the knot. So you can see the rope comes down, winds around this tree a few times, winds around this tree a few times, and then finally I tie it off here. And so you can see, like, the rope is actually not even that tight here. But if you check over here, it's like a guitar string. And so that makes it really easy to undo this knot here because there's, there hasn't been any weight on this knot. Morning. Morning. Just coffee and oatmeal today. We've got over 18 kilometers of uh, distance to travel and about over 3,500 meters of portaging. So, gotta get going. It's one of those rare golden bears. is just up ahead but there's no sign or you can't really see it yet so we gotta get closer oh it's so shallow she's gonna jump out not coming back for that? <laughs> All right, we're just about to start the portage mink to club, 985 meters. And we found this here abandoned, which is awful because nobody wants that. And nobody wants to have to carry it out either. Clearly like these people who brought it. Yeah, you don't forget things like this. This is clearly, someone who just didn't want to carry it any further and yeah left it. and they also laid it out like maybe someone will want it no nobody wants it if you brought it in bring it out this is horrible just don't bring it in the first place don't bring it in the first place this is not a water park <laughs> I'm gonna uphill so far Oh my god. It's a little bit slippery on the rocks. Ooh. Pretty. Oh, that was a buggy one. So many bug bites. warming you. So 
we came from Mink, we're on club, about to go in, finish the 980 meter portage. I always hear them, but I never get to see the white birds. Oh, there you go. You scared my way with your bad call. <laughs> what is that thing? It's uh, an old lumber building. I don't know if it was a mill or just like an office or something. But, uh, it, this area used to have a couple lumber sites, lumber processing sites. decided to jump out. So we gotta get her back in because she's gonna get all tangled up in these lily pads. It's pretty shallow here and there are lots of large rocks kind of hidden here and there that are very hard to see because of the lily pads so I'm trying to do as best I can to look out so we don't hit one. 